markets as we go forward. But let's talk about IGL because that stock has been moving higher in trade after uh, coming up with the fourth quarter numbers, which are largely in line. The company's EBITDA and margin missed trade estimates, but volumes came in at a multi-quarter high. To discuss more about this, Sonal caught up with Kamal Kishore Chatwal, uh, the MD of the company, and started off by asking him about the outlook for FY25. Take a look. Yes, we gave an exit guidance of around 9 million, but achieve 8.73 in the last quarter. Uh, going forward, uh, our guidance would be around 9, but because full year it was 8.43, so next year it will be 9.5 million per day. That is our guidance. Slightly uh, 2 to 3 percent lower than our estimate. The major reason has been that the declining volumes of ATC due to EV conversion and whatever growth we could achieve in Delhi was uh, absorbed in that decline. So going forward, we see that since only uh, 4% uh, sale through BTC now, much is left. So we see that uh, the price cut also, as well as the favorite potential with respect to alternate views. We feel that going forward, the conversions will pick up, as well as the, the new GAs will start contributing uh, to the CNG as well as PNG sales. Okay. You spoke about some impact uh, because of uh, conversion to EVs and you also spoke about conversion in terms of gas vehicles. Can you give us these two numbers? What was the impact in terms of volumes because of conversion to EVs? And generally, what has been the quarterly conversion to CNG in terms of vehicles? So in terms of vehicles, uh, previous year we had around 14,000. So this year we did 15,500. So around 10-11% growth was there. As far as the conversion to uh, the DTC volumes, they are gone down from 3.5 lakh kg to 2 lakh kg. Right now, we are doing 1.9 to. So that's the kind of decline there. But due to the conversion, favorable conversion, as well as the uh, segment, passenger vehicle segment, there has been an increase. We see that our mix percentage has increased from 35% to 41%. And bus has declined from 25% uh, to 19 so we see the same thing playing out this year also because, as you know, the Delhi and CR, the community is a little longer. So 40 to 50 percent advantage with respect to alternate fuel is too much for them. So we feel the conversions will pick up. In addition to that, we are also focusing on improving customer experience with respect to rebranding stations, as well as reducing the wait time of consumers. So these two these factors would definitely help us improve. Okay. Um, can you give us a sense of what the split was in terms of APM allocation, HPHT and spot LNG? And is this going to change going forward? In that case, what would the outlook on EBITDA per unit be? So right now, the domestic allocation, including the HPHT, is at 72%. RLNG is at 28%. Previous year it was seventy-eight uh, percent and seventy-two uh, percent for the RLNG. That has been the change, and going forward, we feel that since the domestic uh, there will be an increase in domestic production, so we feel the same levels to be maintained. But we do not feel that the APM allocation can increase, given the fact that uh, new GAs will come on stream. Some gas has to be a minimum thousand is allocated. To them. So, we do not see that APM going forward increasing, but at the same time reducing as well. Okay. So, uh, you know, we have been talking about this big threat coming in from EVs and the Delhi EV policy as well. What is IGL's plan or strategy in that case? Will you, going forward, diversify? Will you see more in terms of commercial LNG, EV charging stations? Uh, do you have a capex in plan for that? Yes, we have a strategy for diversification uh, areas, but within the segment, the core segment of CNG and PNG also, we have a strategy in place that whatever volumes we are giving away to EV, so the new geographies, you know, there is still a transition play possible there from diesel to G and then to EV. So we are into that space that we have huge volumes of and heavy commercial vehicle. They are the dumpers for ferrying, mining materials, and the rest of the marble. So, 
this segment is what we are focusing on. In that direction, we have started the pilot for GS. That's Banda and Amirpur area. Jumper activities there. There we are uh, demonstrating by converting jumpers to CNG and then demonstrating the benefit to consumers, as well as setting up big stations for them. The, with this, we feel that whatever volumes we lose in Delhi, say 3,000 buses are, you see, those conversions can be offset converting those dumpers to. Okay, all right. Uh, you know, you've also signed an MOU with two technology partners to establish compressed biogas plant. Um, give us more sense, what's the capex here? Uh, by when will it be commercialized? And will that be a bigger part of your portfolio going forward? Because your pure MGL is also looking at biogas plants. The government has a big push here. What's the strategy? In fact, uh, not two. We've we signed with four technology, this MOU. And uh, we plan uh, to set up uh, 15 to 16 biogas plants, especially in cities, the NCR region, which has a huge potential of MSW. Plants are not there. And we feel that uh, IGL can pitch in there, solve the issue, as well as source the domestic gas for the country, rather demonstrate that this is a viable solution for India. Recently, we commissioned a plant in uh, Karnal. There, it was an online, online in the sense that we connected it to our CGD network. Our belief is that unless the plant can be put online, it will be always be a challenge to uh, successfully run the plants where given the uh, quality issues that are there in the in case you have to have a consistent quality as well as the quantity going forward, it has to be an online station connected to a CGD network. That gives us the flexibility to operate uh, four hours. Unlike the bio CNG model, where you know if you fill up a casket, then the casket goes and dispenses CNG, and then it again come, comes back, and then so there is a bit of a variation in the production quantity there. So that impacts the quality and that impacts the customer sentiment also. Okay. All right. So uh, Delhi and NCR is the area where we feel that MSW can play a big role. Okay, that's IGL for you. What a big move we're seeing in the stock. It's up 6.5%. Get into a break. On the other side, we'll invite the management of Sonata Software. Uh, the stock has taken a big knock post in numbers. Uh, Samir Dhir, the MD and CEO, joins in on the other side.